Hello, in this video, we will solve a material balance with chemical reaction problem using WSIM. And the problem goes like this. Methanol is produced in the reaction of carbon dioxide and hydrogen. The fresh feed to the process contains hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and 0.4% mole inerts. The reactor effluent passes to a condenser that removes essentially all of the methanol and water form in none of the reactants or inerts. The latter substances are recycled to the reactor. To avoid buildup of the inerts in the system, a purge stream is withdrawn from the recycle. The feed to the reactor, not the fresh feed to the process, contains 28% mole carbon dioxide, 70% mole hydrogen, and 2% mole inerts. The single pass conversion of hydrogen exceeds the percent. Calculate the molar flow rates and molar composition of the fresh feed, the recycle stream, and the purge stream. So this is the process flow diagram of the problem, and in WSIM, we'll add a material streams, mixers, conversion reactor, compound separator, splitter, and a recycle stream. But first, we need to solve for the molar flow rate and composition of the fresh feed. In this problem, the reactor effluent is the gross product of the process. We have a basis of 100 mol of gross feed and assume that it is a steady state process. First, we will solve for N2. Second, we need to perform an elemental balance at the reactor. Solving through systems of equations and substitution, we solve for N1, N3, and N4. Third, we need to perform mole balances at the condenser to solve for N5 that represents the cycle stream. Fourth, we need to perform compound balances in the condenser to solve for the mole fraction in the recycle and the purge stream. Fifth, performing mole balance in mixing and splitting point and performing the compound balances, we get the molar flow rate per hour of the feed, purge, and the recycle streams. Six, to get the composition of the fresh feed, we substitute the values from the compound balance equation in the fifth step, which results to these values. Then, this is the summary of our computed values. We will use the molar flow rate and composition of the feed stream in WSIM. Now, we will solve it using WSIM. We will create a new steady state simulation. We will add the compounds. First is the carbon dioxide. Next is hydrogen. For the inert, we will assume and add helium because it does not react in the whole reaction. We will also add the products methanol and water. The property package we will use is the Peng Robinsons. We will modify the system of units according to the given values of the problem. Then we'll click finish. Then we'll turn off the flow sheet calculator for easier purposes. Since this is a material balance problem with chemical reaction, we click the settings and set up the reaction from the given problem, where ethanol is produced in the reaction of carbon dioxide and hydrogen. It is also stated that the single pass conversion of hydrogen is 60%. And checking this is the given reaction of the problem. And we can now start. First, we will drag a mixer. Under this mixer, we will add two inlet streams. First is the feed stream, and second is from the recycle stream. We'll name this R2.
For our outlet stream, we'll name this as the gross V. Second, we'll connect it to a reactor. We have the gross feed as our inlet stream, two outlet streams, and an energy stream. We will rename the outlet stream as GP1 and GP2. Third, we'll connect this to a material stream mixer and we'll name this as GP Mix. We do this in order to mix the two gross products into a single gross product. We will rename the output stream as the gross product. Fourth, we'll drag now the compound separator. We will name this as condenser. We have the gross product as our inlet stream, two outlet stream, and an energy stream. We will rename the output streams as the products and the overhead beam. Fifth, we'll drag a material stream splitter. We have the overhead B as our inlet stream we will add two outlet stream. First, we have the purge stream, and the second is from the recycle stream. We'll name this as R1. Six, we will add a recycle block logical operator, and we'll name this as recycle stream. We will add R1 as our inlet stream and R2 as our outlet stream. And this is the whole process of the given problem. Now, in putting all the values given in the problem, we have first in the feed. Then, we click compound amounts. And there you go. Carbon dioxide is equals to 0.26. Hydrogen is equals to 0.736. And for our element, helium is our inert gases. We have 0.004. Next, in our condenser, we set our calculation parameters for the outlet stream too. We set water and methanol with a value of 100, then we press enter. For our splitter, we will add the split ratio value in stream 1 that we solve manually. Then, let's go back to the feed. Let's input 61.9 moles per hour is our molar flow rate. And we're done. We can now turn on the flow sheet calculator and click solve flow sheet or just press F5. We just need to recalculate if you will notice some errors. And we can solve flow sheet with many iterations until the values is fixed. So here, we can check the molar flow rate value of our fresh feed, which is 61.9 moles per hour. And the molar composition of the fresh feed by calculating manually, we get our carbon dioxide is equal to 0.26, hydrogen is equal to 0.736, and for our element helium as our inert gas, we have 0.004.
For the purge stream, the molar flow rate is 6.2 moles per hour. And the molar composition of the purge stream, we get carbon dioxide is equal to 0 0.35, hydrogen is equal to 0 0.61, and for our element helium, we have 0 0.04. The other values is so small, so it's negligible. For the recycle stream, the molar flow rate is 39.37 moles per hour, and the molar composition is the same as with the purge stream. This is closely related to our calculated values that we solve manually. That's all, and I hope you learned in this video. Thank you for listening.